Hey, everybody. Welcome back to The Late Show. I'm still Stephen Colbert. Let's check in with John Baptiste. Hello, John. How are you, my friend? Hello. I'm good, and I'm thinking about how much I love our postal workers. I love our postal workers, too. I, I, I really love the people who come to my door. Yes. But I understand you've got a deeper connection to the post office than I do. Tell me about it. Well, my grandfather, he marched and organized for the rights of postal workers in the 60s in Louisiana. He was the president of the union. And there's a lot of people who fought for our postal workers to do the great job they're doing. So we cannot change that sucker. No, no, no. Uh, you know, it's, as I was saying before, it's a basic function of our society. It's, yeah. it's a strange thing to try to undermine. I know it's for his own per personal, you know, uh, he thinks it'll profit him right, because right. Of, uh, of the election and the mail-in voting. But it's just a, it's, a, it's a terrible thing to kick out from underneath your own government. Yeah, these systems are what are the backbone of our societies, and we can't change them. That's not the right vibe. Uh -uh. Well, John, do you, do you have any mail-based uh, song you could take us out with? Oh, my goodness. Let's see. John Baptiste, everybody. Thank you, John. They take the train, too. That's right. They take the mail on the train, on the A train. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, please, Mr. Postman, but whatever you want, John. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, too. You know, I spent a lot of time carefully tending to the vineyard of the news and fermenting the finest grape stories in the handcrafted oak casks of topicality to create the finely aged cognac that is my monologue. But once in a while, I rummage through the ugliest produce in the aisle, toss it in a jar of vinegar, and leave it in the sun to ferment a couple of days until it becomes the briny news pickles that are my segment. Quarantine wine. Quarantine while. Apparently, COVID-19 lockdowns have led to a huge spike in sex doll sales. And then many of the dolls are being sold to married couples, which either means couples want to spice up their love life or that people in quarantine are really desperate to have a third person for game night. Quarantine while. Birds and reptiles cry similar tears to humans, according to new research. Now, obviously, this new research owes a huge debt to the previous groundbreaking work of whoever analyzed what it sounds like when doves cry. Researchers collected samples of healthy animals' tears from seven species of birds and reptiles, and the tears were extracted from the animals in a complex, humane scientific process known as showing them the final scene from the notebook. Quarantine while. The United States Space Force sent out a tweet yesterday that aimed to be inspiring and was more confusing. Can you imagine your loved ones coming down from the attic with your medals, achievements, and honors, asking about the time you shaped the strategic environment? How would you even begin to explain that? By being part of the shaping. Wow, it did not take long for Space Force to be taken over by aliens. Fellow humans, please join us other humans who speak and write as normal when we engage in the shapening. There is nothing to fear. You shall be shaped. Quarantine while. Toy maker Fisher Price has just released a toy set called, and this is actually how it's listed, the Fisher Price Laugh and Learn Smart Learning Home, My Home Office. Adorable. The kids want to imitate and learning smart, their home parents, so they can, my office, laugh smart instead of school trademark. <laughs> the set includes a wooden smartphone and headset, a to-go coffee cup, and a plastic red laptop, which comes with stick-on apps that depict a calendar, a bar graph, a chart, and a kitty wearing glasses. Wow, what job do parents have that involves a Zoom chat with a kitty wearing glasses? Listen here, Whiskers, if I don't have those Q4 numbers by end of day, you can throw that promotion in the litter box. I want that report and I want it meow. <laughs> Quarantine well. New Yorkers who miss the bar scene are learning to love the outdoors because out-of-work bartenders are now serving swanky cocktails in New York City parks. 
not quite as fun as bar hopping, but at least in a park, you never have to stand in line for the bathroom. Quarantine while. Researchers have discovered that another risk factor for COVID is vaping. Vapors aged 13 to 24 were five times as likely to test positive for the coronavirus. Folks, I'm not a doctor. And I don't want to go too far out on a limb here, but I am starting to think that unregulated menthol cherry cola mist sucked out of a $10 space heater might have a downside. Quarantine while. Public colleges have a new pandemic worry. Since many rely on private donations to meet their budgets, critics fear the economic downturn could give donors more leverage to quietly influence curriculum, hiring, and scholarships. And if you don't think that corporate donors influence curriculum, you've obviously never taken the history class. Cross currents in an American-Italian culture, the evolution of the Supremo Pizzone, no one out pizzas the Hut 101. I could go for one of those, man. We'll be right back with the hosts of The Circus, Mark McKinnon and Alex Wagner. Take a chance, take a chance, take a chance, take a chance, take a chance. Take a chance. 